Welcome to another Bleistift video and today I want to have a closer look at this notebook I showed yesterday just because it's so nice. Um, yeah, like I said in yesterday's video, this is from uh, Bavaria and this company makes quite posh paper. So my example yesterday was the envelopes at the Oscar ceremonies are made from Gmund paper. And yeah, let's have a look. I don't know how much it cost because it was a gift from a friend. It comes with this nice uh, rubber thing. Similar but much slimmer than the ones that Field Notes is selling. Uh, you know, with their name on. Here we've got their logo uh, embossed in silver. There's a little pocket here. And you can see here this is... This looks very well made. Yeah. You can fold them over. They will, they will lie completely flat. It's a very nice uh, feeling to flap the pages over because first there's a bit of a resistance, then the resistance gets less. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it even stays fairly flat. So yeah. Yeah, this, is, this is really nice. Well, the way it feels, I assume you can also zip a page out. I'll just try that. Yeah, okay. That works. I don't know whether it's intended like that. I guess it is. So let's have a look how it copes with different ink. This is my 70 Soul pen with an EF nib. This is a very good nib. I think I just got lucky. Um, in this pen... I've got uh, Graf von Faber Castell. Golf Blue. Let's try some other inks. Um, here I've got an F nib. But, you know, pelicans, sometimes the F-nips can be very white. It's quite random, I think. So this is certainly bigger than I would wish it was. And this is the Edelstein ink. Well, uh, on the paper I often use, this nib is quite white. But you know, the ink doesn't spread out on this paper at all which is nice, so you get a clearly defined line. Yeah. Uh, what else I got here? This is my Lamy from that uh, Lamy Horror Picture Show um, blog post. Well, I can't zoom in enough here, but basically corrosive ink made a hole here at the top. And this is one of my fav most favorite inks. It's also Pelikan Edelstein. And this is uh, Topaz. In many aspects, in many respects, uh, Topaz is similar to Fire and Ice. From, uh, what's his name? Yeah, from Australia. Robert Oster. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a blue with a, with a hint of green and a hint of grey in it. Too. Yeah, very nice. Uh, the another one, this is just a black ink. I, I forgot which one. paper no. ink doesn't really go through well you can see a bit you know because the paper is not massively thick so yeah this is really nice uh, great little notebook thank you for watching and goodbye